Hello everybody and welcome back to Spanish Illustrated. Today we are going to be looking at some vocab and this is the very first lesson of vocab in this unit. And it is unit one, lesson K today. The first thing we're going to be looking at is a few words that you will definitely need to know if you're just talking to normal people in a normal conversation. The first would be hombre or man. Now that is a masculine word, obviously, and the plural is los hombres. Another opposite would be mujer or woman. La mujer because it's feminine, and las mujeres is the plural. Then, of course, we have boy and girl. Niño y niña. Niño means boy, and because it ends in an O, it is masculine. Los niños is the plural. Niña means girl, and it's feminine, of course. The plural ends in an A-S, so it is feminine. Then we have pan, or bread. That is a very common food in a lot of Latin America countries, as well as Spain. So you might need to know this. It is masculine. And the plural is los panes. Manzana means apple. It is feminine as it ends in an A. And las manzanas is the plural. Next, we have some pets. Perro means dog. And el perro would be the masculine. Los perros is the plural. Gatos means cats. Notice it sounds very similar to cats. El gato but las gatas, because if you have a female cat, you just change the O to an A, and that fixes everything up. Next, we have libro, which means book. Of course, that is a masculine word, and the plural is los libros. Also, we have carta, or letter. This is the letter that you put in the mail and send to someone, not the kind that you write in a book. La carta of course, because it is feminine, and las cartas is the plural. Next, we have baño, or bathroom. Definitely something you're going to need if you're going to any country that does not speak the same language as you. Something that we all need to do eventually. That is a masculine word, and the plural is los baños. Agua, something that might be in a bathroom, is feminine, and it means water, of course. However, because it begins with an A, you're going to want to put el agua instead of la agua. However, if it is plural, las aguas would be fitting. Next, we have a question that you might need in a different country using some of the vocab that we just learned. That would be baño. ¿Dónde está el baño? Means, where is the bathroom? I hope that if you take one thing away from this lesson, you remember this question. So you might want to repeat it to yourself a few times right now. I'll give you some time. ¿Dónde está el baño? Where is the bathroom? Let's do a quick review of everything we learned just a second ago. El hombre is the man. La mujer is the woman. El niño is the boy. La niña is the girl. El perro is a dog. El gato is a cat. Remember that you can change O's on those into A's to make it feminine. El libro is book. Switching over, we can see la carta is letter, the kind that you put in the mail. El pan is bread. La manzana is apple. El baño is the bathroom. And el agua, though it is feminine, it still has the L. It means water. And remember... ¿Dónde está el baño? means where is the bathroom. And that's it for this episode. I hope you have taken away quite a few words and one very, very important phrase. Don't forget that. If you like this video, please check out my channel. I do a lot of videos just like this. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you have anything you need to tell me. Remember... Dicarautro Sprache es Orvir o Porta.
This has been Spanish Illustrated Unidad Uno Lección K. Vocabulario. Until next time.